uh, I believe the reason why so many people in the world don't want to be a part of the church family, not just come mm -hmm. into a church and do the church things, but it's because they say, you're not much different from us. Mm -hmm. You're not much different from the world. There's more divorce mm -hmm. rates in the church yeah. than outside of the right. church. Right. There's hypocrisy, there's sin, there's yeah. all these things happening in the church. And once again, the, the, the division, yeah. the destruction of what's happening. Yeah. Um, how do you, uh, what do you think is the remedy of, because you're talking about acceptance, mm. forgiveness. What do you think is the remedy of uh, the church actually moving into the, uh, this next move of God mm. in the midst of all the separation, division, the differences? Uh, I mean, what, how yeah. do you think we, we get to overcome this? How do you steward the, all these connections, networks, and relationships? Like sometimes uh, people are fascinated and amazed by me, how I handle and steward mm -hmm. all these different yep. streams yep. and all these different types of people all at the same time. Mm -hmm. How do you do that in mm -hmm. Canada as well? I would say the biggest, the biggest thing is acceptance and forgiveness. Okay, acceptance, yeah. I'll tell you because, uh -huh. you know, a lot of times the, the separations that happen in churches and ministries uh, from one other ministry or another yeah, church yeah. is out of a lack of communication and a spirit of ownership or mm. a spirit of I'm better than you or something like that starts to rise up. Yeah, pride, yeah. So ex pride. Yeah. So acceptance of other people knowing that they have as much, if not more, destiny than I do, yeah. that they have that as well too, that Come God's on. given them that. And together, one puts to flight 1,000, two put to flight 10,000, what did three do? Come on. If it multiplied 10 times when two came together, well then what does it do when three come together? Would it be another multiply of yeah, 10 yeah. times? Come on. That'd put 1,000 to 10,000 to 100,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with three. Come on. So either way, if we, if we don't understand Psalms 133 of unity, if we don't grab that concept that unity is not talking just about my core congregation, I've got 39 churches now spread all over this world, mm -hmm. you know, and ministries. If I, if I say, well, unity is just for my, my main central base church, well, I'm missing the boat. Mm. Unity is across all the board for all Christian believing people. Mm. Now we help each other unify, stay stronger, and bring them together. So I truly believe uh, gr growing up in South America as a missionary kid, so uh, having my parents minister in hundreds of different churches, uh, we would drive, we never drove across America without it taking months. So mm -hmm. we would land in Florida, you know, coming back from the mission field, and every single day or every couple days we'd be speaking at another church. So we would be going to every different color race of a church. So we good. were celebrating with churches that that, that we were the minority of color. Matter of fact, yeah. there was no one else yeah. our color, you know? So and we're in there and they're loving on us yeah, yeah, more yeah. than other churches of our own race. Yeah. And so it taught me Say as a it, young kid yeah. that hold it. We did sing a song, yeah. you know, red and yellow, black and white, you know, it, it, you're, the, you're the same and equal in God's yeah, sight. Yeah. You cut my skin, cut your skin, cut any person's skin, we bleed red. Yeah. The same it's color the same. of yeah. the blood of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. So it helped me realize <clears throat> that the diversity of our churches, the diversity of ministries, the diversity of races is actually not for division and separation. It's actually for unifying and yeah. becoming stronger. Yeah, yeah. And utilize and say, you know what? Celebrate who you are, who Come God on. made you. And, and don't make everyone else celebrate it. You celebrate it first. And when we celebrate it, it creates a unity and in that unity, strength. Come on. You look at war. Every war, especially the Second World War that was fought, when the different uh, nationalities did, ended up starting to fight, maybe it, they were abused and not looked after right, but it actually created a strength mm. in the war. Mm. I believe that I'm a man that, that fully believes that we have the victory already. Mm. I don't yeah. feel like Amen. wake up every morning to go to war. I feel I wake up every morning to live in victory. Yeah. You Come know, on. Jesus Come Christ on. did that victory for us on the cross and his resurrection. So when I, when I look at us, I say, it's the nations, it's Come the on. nations, yeah. nations not alone in America, North Come America, on. On. but nations of this world yeah, yeah. That, are, that will create the strength of the greatest move and revival that Come this on. world has ever seen. And I believe so we are in those foundational moments of building on what was, taking the power of that testimony into what is now, 
in building for what is yet to be. That's and good. we're in that building process. Well, we're in yeah. that building process. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to finish off with this one last question. Mm -hmm. You're a missionary kid. Um, you grew up with those values and that inheritance uh, as a young man, mm -hmm. as a young boy, which 90, almost 99% of the world does not in mm -hmm. a sense, right? Mm -hmm. uh, especially as a missionary kid, pastor's sure, kid, sure. there's a different dynamic there. Sure. Uh, majority of the world does not grow up with that. How important do you think it is for children to be children, but at the same time grow up in that type of atmosphere and culture, mm. if that makes sense? Sure. Yeah. You mean as far as being a missionary kid or pastor's kid or uh, talking to the 99% that aren't? The, the 99%. Right. Yeah. I, I really feel, Ben, um, we are born into how we're born. You're born through the mother that you're born in, Amen. and you're born through the dad, whether you know him or you don't know him, you know your mom, you don't know him. I have seen some of the greatest evangelists and preachers of this day have zero Christian mm. inheritance at all. What does that mean to me? It means that as soon as you say, I do to the bridegroom, as soon as you say, I do to Jesus, as soon as you say that in your own life, that you believe in him and, uh, and become saved in your own life, you, your identity is already there, and that identity has the inheritance of the generations before on, us, that mighty yeah, cloud of witnesses yeah, there before us. So I want to encourage everybody out there that maybe they have their first generation Christian, maybe they don't, they're watching this, they don't even know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Yeah, yeah. Step one, know Jesus as your personal Lord and yeah, Savior yeah. is very clear. Step two, don't compare yourself to everybody else. Come on, come be on. who you are called to be. Because who you are called to be through Jesus Christ gives you the inheritance. You have as much or more inheritance than I have. Come on. I had a family inheritance on this earth in that, but I'm tapping into the inheritance of, of Jesus Christ. Come on, amen. It's yeah. called our Father who yeah, art in yeah. heaven. Come on. And His name is hallowed, yeah, not mine, yeah. His name. And so out of that, no matter what area you are in your Christian walk, Start to focus that you are in life of victory, number come one. On, on. The devil is defeated. He is so small. The worst he can do is bruise our heels. That's mm. about it. Mm, and on. that's from us stomping on him come so on. hard. Come on. And do not let me... I tell you, we empower the devil with unbelief left mm. and right. We mm. empower the devil by saying, oh, you know, this, you know, this Jezebel, this spirit, this, that spirit, yeah, the yeah. python, all these spirits, you know, they're attacking me, they're attacking me. Why do you even acknowledge they're attacking? Because mm -hmm. as soon as we acknowledge the attack, we've empowered the attacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? I say no. Mm. I'm going to celebrate and I'm going to rejoice. People Come say, on. well, Brent, you mean you're never attacked? Well, maybe I am attacked, but you know what? The arrows bounce off because I'm celebrating and rejoicing Come in the on. victory of Jesus yeah. Christ. And we're going to advance forward. So no matter what age you are spiritually, know that you're a son, a daughter of the king. And know that your inheritance is a cloud of witnesses. It's the generations that have gone before Come us. On. And grab it, take it, and run with it. Come because on. it's an amazing life to be. Come on. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. I want to finish off with this one last question here. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I believe... The reason why so many people in the world don't want to be a part of the church family, not just come mm -hmm. into a church and do the church things, but it's because they say, you're not much different from us. Mm -hmm. You're not much different from the world. There's more divorce mm -hmm. rates in the church yeah. than outside of the right. church. Right. There's hypocrisy. There's sin. There's yeah. all these things happening in the church. And once again, the, the, the division, yeah. the destruction of what's happening. Yeah. Um, how do you, uh, what do you think is the remedy of, because you're talking about acceptance, mm. forgiveness. What do you think is the remedy of uh, the church actually moving into the, uh, this next move of God mm. in the midst of all the separation, division, the differences? Uh, I mean, what, how yeah. do you think we, we get to overcome this? I think some of the statistics in the church um, when it comes to divorce rates and things like that, I, I truly believe that we've come out of a very controlling uh, theology, mm. let's just say. Mm. And we can go back into 445 years ago, you know, and, and Calvinism versus, you know, Armenianism versus the different aspects and yeah, the different yeah. denominations, how they grabbed it. But I really believe what's happened is we've, we've, we've sort of trained ourselves to look at somebody else to teach us what to do. And I truly believe that God wants us to actually look to Him to teach us what we should be walking in and how mm. we should walk. And we can only do that through identity. But we can't find our identity until we actually live a forgiven lifestyle. Mm. And the problem is, is most people, we receive Christ in our forgiveness, but yet we haven't forgiven ourselves. Mm. 
and we still carry those yeah, that yeah. unforgiveness in us. If we carry the unforgiveness in us, then how are we to even know how to forgive somebody yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. And so I look at that. I am pro local church. I absolutely Amen. believe it's a biblical principle. When you take a look at the oikos and the ecclesia, the the two words of family and church in the scriptures, yeah, yeah. the oikos and the ecclesia, Come and on. you study it out, we are pro local church. Absolutely. Come on. And I think what started to happen in our culture is it's my way or the highway attitude and what that created was a division in people's hearts not only for leadership but for the congregation mm. of people and so a lot of people i hear yeah i don't want to go to a church i can just go to starbucks and have church you can have oikos in starbucks which is family mm -hmm. but you can't have the trueness of ecclesia because mm. if you study the word out ecclesia is the apostles and the prophets with Christ the chief cornerstone. Mm. And I believe that, that we've placed pastors as yeah, yeah. leaders of everything. Well, the the seminary I yeah. went to, and we could spend hours on that, and I won't yeah. go there, but the seminary I went to, all we taught was how to be a pastor. Mm. I came out four years after seminary as a pastor. Now, I had no church, mm. never pastored anybody yet, but I had all this theology in sure. my head. So, you know, we need to rechange that model, and I really believe it's moving from denominationalism to apostolic relationships, where it's people gathering around fathers and mothers more than it is around a denomination. Come on. And Come on. I believe that's part of it, but I just want to encourage the people that truly forgive yourself. Come what on. does a forgiven lifestyle look like? Come on. Um, sinless. Come on. Well, what do you mean, Brian? You can live sinless? Uh, it's a goal. Jesus did. Come on. He, he gave the perfect example. Amen. Why can we not strive to become like Christ? Yeah, yeah. I actually think that's biblical. Come on. So I look at it and I say, so true forgiveness of, of your own self, one of the ways to see how well you truly have forgiven yourself is see how much sin's in your life. Mm. See your attitude towards other people. Because mm. if you truly are forgiven and you understand that forgiveness in yourself, your attitude to another sinner mm. is passionately, they understand forgiveness. Mm. That's mm. your heart desire. Because mm. once you understand that love of God in that level, Come that on. he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, into this earth to die on a cross, he had all authority to stop it. Mm. But he watched his son hang and die, get murdered on a cross Jesus. and rise again. Why? So we could have relationship and intimacy with the Father again. Come on, come on. So forgive yourself, and in that, you will forgive others. If you can't forgive another fallen minister, or you can't forgive someone who come wronged on. you, if you can't forgive someone who swore at you and, and, and even didn't come back and ask for forgiveness, yeah, we yeah. forgive before they're forgivable. Come on. Become the, you know, the, when the, the parable of the father and the wayward son, when that wayward son took his inheritance and squandered it, ends up in a pig, pig pen, yeah, yeah. eating pig come food. On, what did on. the father do? Every day that dad ran to the top of the hill to look for the son, come on. kept praying and hoping and desiring come that on. son. Why? Because that father had already forgiven the son before come the on. son was forgivable. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ died on that cross for us come on. and forgave us before we were forgivable. Yeah, while we're dead Why? In sins. Exactly. Yeah. Why can we not forgive people come their on. trespasses come against so us? The only ones that can tr forgive them <clears throat> against me, so their good. trespass, is Jesus Christ, number one. Number two is me. Mm, mm. I have to forgive their trespasses against me. If I don't, then I don't know I my own forgiveness. forgiveness. Yeah, exactly. Wow, Brent. She got uh, she <laughs> uh, in, in, a, in a moment, uh, I, I'm just feeling uh, the spirit of the Father, the heart mm. of the Father, really. Uh, of forgiveness, mm -hmm. you know, and releasing people, yeah. setting yeah. depths free, setting yeah, people on. free. Come That's on. the spirit yeah. of Jubilee, Isaiah 61. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before you pray this prayer of impartation, mm -hmm. is over the people, because I'm, I'm sensing and feeling there's a lot of people watching mm -hmm. with heaviness and mm -hmm. with guilt Absolutely. and shame. Absolutely. Feeling separated, isolated, and alone, and, and feeling like they're unappreciated and not mm -hmm. celebrated. That's right. Uh, uh, but before you just pray, uh, and, and just release that. Um, how can people find you, follow you, your church, mm. your ministry, and all that? Uh, windward.ca. So W I N D W O R D dot C A for Canada, all not right. California. Yeah, but windward.ca. Okay. Um, you can look us up on Facebook. We have a Windward page as well. And then my name, Brent Borthwick, on Facebook as well, gets us there. Um, I don't accept everybody on friendship, and I've got probably 1,500 waiting to be accepted. Yeah, I yeah, go through yeah. everybody's wall. But uh, windward.ca is the best way to get a hold of us and uh, love to connect, absolutely. That's yeah. amazing, yeah. Brent. Thank you so yeah. much for being on our yeah, show you bet. today. You bet. Uh, uh, well, can you pray for those people who are hurting yeah, absolutely. that are grieving 
Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sensing that there's many people watching Absolutely. where you need to forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. You're being too hard on yourself. Just like mm -hmm. Brent was sharing the analogy earlier about his son, the fathers and the mothers yeah. cheer their children on yeah. the hardest and the yeah. most and the loudest. Yeah. So uh, just release your heart, release a prayer, whatever you're feeling just mm -hmm. to our audience. Yeah, sounds yeah. good. I want to just speak to those sons and daughters that, that you didn't strike out. You actually learned how to swing. Come on. And there's two ways to look so at good. everything. And maybe sometimes you felt like you failed. I just want to encourage you and say, God didn't see it as a failure. He saw it on how can you learn and grow? Come on. And what are you going to learn through this so you can become the power of testimony for others not to go through it? Come on. So I want to pray for you if you feel that you've been down, maybe you haven't been on fire for God like, you know, like you've been hungry for in years gone past. That is a mindset. Come that on. is not God. He has never left us. He has never forsake us ever. He is always with us. And so as we pray, I, 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 I'm going to pray that you search your heart, but don't search it so deep that it brings back all of the junk. So what you do in searching your heart is actually search your heart through Christ Jesus. Search your heart through God's eyes, the way he sees you. And he sees you as amazing. He sees you as your future of success. He sees you on fire for his presence and for his glory, um, literally devouring his word. So Father, we just pray right yes, now Lord. for every person, Lord God, that maybe hasn't been feeling the fire like they used to. I pray right now through sure, those cameras, over this internet, however someone's watching. I pray that the fire of your Holy Spirit comes upon them in every way right yes, now, Lord, Lord God. If they're driving their car, they need to pull over on the side of the road and just receive the fire of your presence, yes, Lord God, Lord. upon them right now. I pray, Lord God, that they will not see themselves as low or worthless. I pray, Father, that they will see themselves as princes and princesses in the kingdom of God, that they are sons and daughters, uh, sure, that they God, are the boy, precious yeah, rubies, the diamonds, the gems, stones of of his kingdom on this earth i pray lord god that they every one of us will become a greater shining light of jesus christ uh, i ask lord god that every person will receive that forgiveness of jesus christ and then walk into the forgiveness and understanding of forgiveness in Come their on. own life you are forgiven says the lord you when you give your life to jesus you are forgiven Come not on. conditionally you are forgiven Come on. and don't let the enemy have any power or right any goodness. authority over your Shut mind down, boy, over God. your thoughts or emotions right now you just say devil you have no power you have no authority Hallelujah. in jesus name i declare my mind clear i declare myself forgiven and i forgive myself and lord even those people that have spoken come poorly on, against us or behind us our back uh, and some don't even know us we forgive them come lord on. jesus and we ask lord god blessings uh, that on. blessings will pour upon them father that it's hard to bless your enemies so it's hard to pray god, grace into your enemies god. but i tell you what in the body of christ we should not have enemies with brothers and sisters we are here for the diversity of jesus christ to establish the kingdom of heaven at hand his come kingdom on. come so we just pray fill them up lord god fill them right now i even just see miracles i see even so bad legs a knee i see a back a lower back just yeah, being yeah. healed right now in jesus name come i can on. see it clearly someone with the right kidney issue right kidney problem we just had kidneys get healed in canada come right on. kidney problem in jesus name be healed yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. where you no longer have this the doctors will look and say this is come a on. miracle and you say that's right it's my lord and savior Hallelujah. jesus christ so we thank you father we thank you for west coast rumble we thank Thank you for Brother Ben Lim and what he carries. Uh, and we know, Lord God, there is revival happening. And we know Come that, on. Father, we are called to be a part of it and carrying it Come through on. not only our own cities, our own nation, but the nations of this world. So Come we on. just pray blessing upon every one of you. Come out of the slumber, Come church. <laughs> Come out of depression. Depression Shata. off now Come in on. Jesus' name. Christianity has no depression. If you really look about it, there's no depression in heaven. Come on. Depression is an enemy, and depression should not happen. So in Jesus' name, depression be removed out of the minds in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. Wow. Amen and amen. Whew. And I also feel right now yeah. uh, the prodigals are returning home. Mm, come there's on. The spirit of yeah. restoration and reconciliation yeah. happening. Yeah. Where there's a, yeah. a, a restoration of the mm. prodigals. We yeah. prophesy yeah. that every prodigal son, daughter, yeah. father, yeah. mother, yeah. every prodigal is returning. 
Yeah. And God is making all things beautiful yeah, in your family. On, forgive, yeah. forgive, wow. release, release. Wow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen, wow. amen, and amen. Wow, Brent, thank amen. you so much wow, thank for being you. with us today thank on you, Revival awesome. Connect. Yeah, you bet. And uh, just releasing the heart of reconciliation, the yeah. heart of the Father. Mm. I'm sure there's so many people who watch today and they're feeling blessed or feeling free and released Come on. Uh, because of what you shared today. Thank you. So Amen. thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Guys, this is Ben Lim today with Brent Borthwick. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are, Revival Connects, where we are making revival a reality all across the earth. Until next time, catch us on Ben Lim TV. God bless you.